you expecting a drag queen? Her name was Buttercup. I beg your pardon? Oh, listen to sloppy bitch. Maybe you'll learn something. Buttercup was a perfectly normal little eight-year-old girl. Apart from the chronic bedwetting and gender identity issues, which certainly did not constitute a legitimate excuse for her parents to lock her away in that filthy mental institution. Pig fuckers. But every cloud has a silver lining, bitch. Because from the first time Little Buttercup laid eyes on the well-endowed little Tommy Tucker. She knew she had found her soulmate. Tommy had a reputation as a preteen rapist and murderer. But Buttercup knew he was simply misunderstood. But being a toilet challenge little mouse like yourself, it took her nearly a decade to confess it. Years of unrequited love. An eternity of muffled masturbating with makeshift sex toys not fit for a farm animal. But all that changed the year Buttercup turned 16, downed a quart of isopropyl alcohol, and finally got the nerve to confess her love. It was Valentine's Day, as I recall. She spent days constructing a heart-shaped piece of her soul with dried macaroni and hair plucked from her very own scalp. Come on! I'm trying to take a fucking dump! Now where was I? Oh, yeah. Buttercup's fingers trembled as she slipped her little masterpiece into Tommy's hand. But instead of a reciprocation of undying love, her little valentine was met with a stringy stream of drool. Her eyes darted up to a patch of shaved scalp where jagged stitches taunted her like a botched sex change a la bottomy bitch. Sparkle in little Tommy's eyes had been replaced by the catatonic stare of a horse hung retard. If only Buttercup had told him Tommy sooner, maybe she wouldn't have spent a lifetime with her lips wrapped around a bottle. <laughs> maybe she could have afforded a proper pussy. Because let's face it, bitch. Little Buttercup was slopping herself. Sloppy needs cock. Sloppy wants a 